can't do that. I'm pregnant. After about four times of her saying that to me, I said, well, as far as I'm concerned, you need to get the fuck up out of my way. And I went down and found Linda, and I said, hey, all I hear from her and all I've heard up to lunchtime was, I can't do anything you're telling me to do because I'm pregnant. If she's in my way, she don't need to be here. She's not going to work. And Linda fired her. Linda Howard did. Fired her on the spot. You ain't done nothing but sit in the break room. She said, matter of fact, I've seen you down here in the break room three or four times smoking. Well, I'm pregnant. I can't do that. Well, then why did you come in here and even apply for a job? You know? Well, you didn't say nothing about my new purple blouse. I like your purple blouse. Where'd you get that at? I bought a hat at the junk store. Goodwill? My kind of shirt. Yeah, yeah, get that at Goodwill? Once I got home, I tried it on. I said, oh, yeah, here's what I need. You get that at Goodwill? Goodwill? Yeah. Every once in a while, I can find a pretty good bargain in there. But my brown pants that I've got, they're a little bit too tight. I think I'm going to fold them up and put them over there at the mailbox. Somebody might fit in them better. Because these here has got 22 waist tag in them. And they come from the Goodwill, these gray ones. I'm going to try to look for a tag next time, but they always not got a tag, they're so old. Your chicken's telling you it's time to get up. I just hate to go in and strip off and try on something and have to, well, it didn't fit, and I've got to yank it off and put my clothes on. It's just kind of mean to sit there and paper was getting undressed good time. i got three pretty blouses that go good with the brown, so I need to get a brown pair that will fit me so I can wear it with my shirt. Right. guess I'll have to try to get somebody to take me in Walmart sometime and I can actually go back in there and try on something and find something in brown when I want. Yeah. Springtime's coming. I need a few new clean things. A few new clean things. Different things. <laughs> Not per se clean, but I had my teeth in, I'd bite that. Bet you would. Yeah, I'm if I had some teeth, something. I'd bite it I'll too. If I had teeth, I'd You have oil, right? Mm -hmm. See, I have this in the pan. <laughs>
hot in here, by the way. Is that heater back on? I guess. I didn't turn it on. I didn't either. I thought we turned it off. That'll be back when on. you make this coffee last, you never... Oh, uh, that needs to be dumped and new coffee made. Huh? It, it needs to be dumped and new coffee made. Okay. It needs to be dumped. Throw it out. No, I haven't. No, it gets old. You don't want it. It's like three days old. They came out of the pot. I ain't been down here to screw it. I just couldn't walk down here to do it. I'm asking for it to be done. Is worse than coming down and doing it yourself. So. No, this is gonna go in a skillet and be fried. Yeah, I'm gonna make patties. I don't like so much. You have some to throw in the garbage. I'm gonna eat them. It's for a keto diet. It's in place of eating chocolate bars. I'm trying to lose weight. Before I die from being fat. Because God knows my insurance ain't gonna do anything I need it to do and I can't even get into my doctor to beg the old bitch to fill me out a referral paper to take to the goddamn Department of Human Services to ask them if I can please go back on my traditional Medicaid that they took me off of. What's bad is this is still through Medicaid, but like I said, when COVID hit, pandemic hit, they took everybody off their shit and started buying little pieces of other little insurance and put people on them not caring what their medical concerns were, not caring that the insurance they were putting them on wasn't going to pay for shit. So I've had this insurance since 2020, not knowing that it wouldn't pay for another knee surgery, not knowing that, hey, if I had a pacemaker and I had a heart attack, I'm just going to die because it ain't going to pay for that surgery either. And yes, it reads just like that in the policy. I've read it. It's just for your primary care physician to say, well, I've listened to your heart and you're good today. I can, I can take your A1C and I can listen to your heart and I can weigh you. We can look at your eyesight and if you're lucky, I might actually come in the room and talk to you and not send my nurse. That's all it's good for. <laughs> I can wipe my ass on no, it. No, my man stands there and he looks across there at that computer screen and yeah, yeah. But I think he finally looked at my face and then he said, wow, you scared me and he turned and left. Who'd you get? Roger or Yeah, Hudson? Roger's was this last one that said he's so old he couldn't hardly walk. Oh, Roger's ain't old. Huh? You mean Kirkland? Who'd you see? Up there at the thing up there? Yeah, Rogers, the old man Rogers. This man that come in here this last time was the old, I said, well, God, like I say, try to look at that screen and just walk and talk and. He must be a new Rogers, because the Rogers I knew just. He did tell me. He wasn't the Rogers that had back the beard, in right? my blood work done, but I said, I ain't driving all the way back to Springdale to have them draw my blood. They don't do nothing for you anyway if they see something wrong with the blood. That's true. They don't. I ain't driving all the way back up there. Make your referral that you can't get done in the next two years. I called them kids there at Farmington and said if they had an opening, them little doctors. No, not right now. Okay. I didn't come over there for nothing. <laughs> Thirty days to give you a shot, or we can get you an appointment. Now, you know that's uh, absurd. There ain't no clinic booked up so bad they can't get you in under five or ten days. Can't get you in for thirty days to get that shot. 
I'll be dead, but then I'll kick it in somebody else's ass. <coughs> So she'll be over there with sister all day tomorrow? Yeah, she'll be back tomorrow night for school. Huh? She'll be back sometime tomorrow night to go to school. Oh, well. Yeah. And Elisa and the baby are in Siloam Springs, so you won't get to see him either. They went up to her sister. She's sister's up house. there for a few days. With her sister. Well, she went up there to that place called Choices that she'd got some baby clothes from that had told her when he grew out of them to bring them back up there and they'd buy them from her. Well, when she got up there, like, no, we can't buy them from you this time. We don't have any room for them, they said. But then on the next note, they turned around and said, but you can just leave them with us and we'll figure out what to do with them. She says, um, why would I leave them with you for free when you told me you had no space to buy them from me? You know, if you give them to us, we'll take them, but we're not going to give you any money for them, is what they told her. Mm -hmm. I told her, I told her, she said, just tell her to list the son of bitches on Poshmark. Or have a yard sale. Or hang on to them, because you might be pregnant again. Because she can't get into a doctor this insurance they put her on when she got pregnant, the pregnancy insurance, then they, it turned to mother's insurance. They haven't put her back on anything other than mother's insurance and nobody will take it. And also at the time, she no longer had that doctor over there that had referred her to the OBGYN. So when the OBGYN said, oh no, we can't do that kind of surgery here because we're Catholic. You can't get your tubes tied here because we're Catholic. We'd have to send you out to somebody else. There was no primary care physician for the referral. So when she got up there, they were like, no, that'd be about $600 out of your pocket. Because you don't have any insurance that would cover it, and you don't have a primary care manager. To which she didn't know she didn't have until she got up there. Yeah. That's how the insurance jerks you around. So now she's without getting it done. Because, oh, and then... This doctor up here of mine, it does take six months. When I came down here and switched, it took me six months to get able to be seen. And that's how they do all their new patients. You wait six months. After you apply to go to them, you wait six months before they'll see you. Well, that's what they told Lisa, and she's like, I don't have a doctor. I guess she pulled her thing out, and she didn't wait for them to call her back. And, well, that's how all the doctors are nowadays. So you're going to have to choose one and wait your six months. Shit. Or not. I'm not getting nothing done. Well, I think I'm going to get a paper any day in the mail about my caregiving thing and nothing, nothing comes in the mail. It ain't been 30 days yet, Mom. It ain't even been 30 days. You had that done on the 4th. Yeah, I had the thing on the 4th, but they got my paper back that I was approved to get it, but they had to look me over to see how many hours they can pay for, and they'll send me back a paper. And, well, that paper's been 10 days since I got the other papers, so... Okay. Another three days. As Jerry said, well, I'll send my grandkids. They'll do something. I said, yeah, you're always saying they ain't got yours done yet. How would they come all the way from up there to help me if they can't drive right past that street where you turn to go into your apartment, apartment twice house. a day to go to a public job and can't even come in there? Can't even give you the telephone number of the doctor so you can call him and ask about your important business. Huh? Well, you hear this how this is how this works. They've got her government check or her retirement check or whatever, and that's all they were worried about. What? She don't have her access to her money. They have it. That was all that was worried about. You don't know how that works? They put her into a house that's up a steep fucking hill that she can't get in and out of. She can't drive her car. They've got her money. 
So, you know, and then they don't come until they choose Well, she's to. got her mind. She's got her mind, but she ain't got her money. What's she going to do? Well, why can't her mind get her a telephone number from the people that have it and call her own doctor and ask about her stuff? Why can't her mind do that? Her mind probably could. But then she's still sitting there going, how am I going to get there? Because I have to ask one of them to come take me to do it. Well, well the little girl come running to the bag of the groceries. And I got two more in the car and she ran real fast to get them and got them in on the car. Can you put them up? I'm in a hurry. I got to get to the school and get the kids. Look there, boy. She has five minutes till three. I got to get to the school. I said, well, why didn't she leave her house an hour earlier and do your grocery shopping? And she wouldn't have had to run out the door and trip and fall going to get her kids from school. Why didn't she leave her house an hour earlier and do your grocery shopping? She didn't want to. Well, <laughs> well they're remodeling their house and they're just tied up. And I said, yeah, you've always got an excuse for them for some reason or other. They're remodeling. Have a pan. And she didn't leave the house as early as you think she ought to. I said, no, she didn't. Or she wouldn't have been in that kind of big ass food. I said, when my caregiver gets here, she probably won't stay but one day because of my mouth. And I said, that's okay to me. You sure don't need to tell me to carry out my own trash because I'll get up and stupid face if she does. I didn't carry out the own trash. And I'm going to get $10 an hour for doing it. What else? Will you pay me $10 to carry out your trash? Mm-hmm. Shit, no, I'll carry out my own. <laughs> Shit, no, I'll carry out my own. Oh, well, these places that get paid to do something for you, if you can bend over and do just a little, they want you to do it, and they get the money for it, so. I bet they get $15 now and they don't care to get a bill for the age, don't you reckon? Well, they told me $18 an hour, so I'm not going to pay $12 or $13. They're going to wage $11. Well, they don't want to do it. They want to do What? And you just frighten little round ball? Yeah. You just fright little round patties. And this is supposed to be for a diet? All it is is fried cabbage, Mama. It's just got vegetables in it. Okay. You, you know? Your coleslaw and fry it. Well, okay. Okay, I'm going to check my thing. I'm just saying it's keto and low carb, okay? Something different. More vegetables than anything else. Yes. stuff too here in a minute that you put in them or that you dip them in.
said the sauce called for plain yogurt, dill leaves, a little bit of cucumber, and some red pepper. We are going to go with sour cream, some pickle juice, a little bit of cucumber, and probably not the red pepper.
Now, they use a plain yogurt, some dill weed, some cucumber, and some red pepper for the sauce. I'm using the dill pickle and some uh, sour cream and the other stuff for it because I didn't have any plain yogurt. You gonna give this recipe to that old woman on television? What old woman on television? Oh, uh, Rachel. She's all the time like throwing something new on there, cooking it every morning. I said, damn, I done had my biscuit and gravy. I ain't want to watch her cook nothing. I'll get on over there and watch the cowboy. Uh -huh. Old cowboy.